Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an image in Photoshop and use some simple filters on it to make it look like an abstracted painting, um, something that would be kind of similar to maybe a Picasso or um, some sort of abstracted painting like that. So I'm going to get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is take your background layer and go ahead and copy that by dragging it into your new layer button down there. And, uh, and that'll make a copy. You can rename it if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it the same. Uh, after that, what we'll do is we'll go up to Filter, we'll go down to Artistic, and we'll go to Cutout. Um, now, this step is going to change a little bit per picture, so um, you're going to have to mess around a little bit with it. Uh, the settings that I've found out that work well for this picture are um, 8 for the number of levels, 8 for the edge simplicity, and one for the edge fidelity. Um, in my opinion, trying to figure out how to get these settings to make the, the image look like this is how you want to do it. Um, the simpler, the better. The more detail that you have in, in this image, kind of the, the less um, intentional it's going to look later. So um, kind of the more abstract you get, the more intentional it's going to look at the end. So um, keep that in mind at this step and then in a later step when we also use this filter again. So for now, I'm going to leave it at 8, 8, and 1 for this image. I'll press OK. <clears throat> and so that's what we have now. The next thing that I'm going to do is make a couple copies of this layer. And you can either do that by dragging it into the new layer once again, or you can press Control J twice with that layer selected. OK, I am going to go ahead and rename these layers. I'm going to re rename this layer. Relief, and the top layer now, Color. And if you just double click on those um, names, it should let you rename them. And make sure that your relief layer is directly below the color layer. Um, now what we'll do is we will take this, uh, make sure our relief layer is selected, and have make sure that we have black and white as our foreground and background colors. We want black as our foreground color, white as our background color. With this relief layer selected, we'll go up to Filter, down to Sketch, and down to uh, Bar Relief. Um, these settings you can kind of mess around with as well, but they're a little bit less important as the uh, cutout filter settings. But uh, for these settings, I'm going to go ahead and I've already set these apparently to uh, 12, 3, and make sure that the lighting is on the right. So I have detail at 12, smoothness at 3, and the lighting's on the right. And I'll press OK. And uh, then for the color layer, we'll select that and we'll set the blending mode to color. That'll be it for that. And then we'll select both layers and you can hold down Shift and click, click on uh, both layers to highlight them both. And you can uh, either go up to layer at the top and go down to merge layers or you can just press control E and that should uh, or command E and that should merge your layers. So now they're merged and uh, with that layer selected which is now named color since it was our top layer we will um, go up to filter we will go down to artistic once again and we will go down to cutout once again. And like I was saying earlier we want to make sure that we uh, mess around with these settings so that, uh, as you can see right now, with the way that the settings are, we have all these different layers of color in kind of a linear fashion. We don't want that. That, that just doesn't look very interesting. Um, I've already figured this out for you once again. And uh, to make this better, all you have to do is change the edge simplicity to 9 on this image. Um, if you mess around with the edge simplicity and the edge fidelity, and even then, well, you have to mess around with all the numbers in order to kind of figure out what looks the best. And I, th I think that this looks pretty good. Um, so if you can kind of try to match this, that's, uh, that's kind of what you want. And then I'll press OK. And then what we'll do is we'll take this uh, color layer that's on the top and we'll set the blending mode to overlay. And um, that's pretty much it. You get, uh, this is the, what you get for the final product. Um, and like I said, you can certainly mess around with the settings and see what you can come up with on your own. And you can, uh, you can try to do more with it as well. But uh, I think this is a, a pretty interesting look. You can certainly uh, cut this image out and, and you know, put it in a poster or something so that it was just the girl. 
and it's it's a really neat kind of look, and it's uh, and it's an abstracted kind of painting sort of look, and uh, and it's it's unique every time with uh, the individual uh, pictures that you use. So it's uh, it's very hard to copy, and uh, exactly anyway. So anyway, I hope you learned something. Um, Thanks for watching the video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, thanks again.